welcome again to the course. My name is Stephen Pettit and I'm going to guide you through this module. Here we're finally going to learn the top 200 medications. We're going to do it by learning in a few different ways. We're going to be able to learn them by the drug class. We're also going to learn them by their prefixes and suffixes. So this lecture is really just an introduction to let you know kind of what we're doing and maybe some tips on remembering them. First of all, there's 200 drugs. How could you possibly remember that many drugs? Well, there's a few different ways. First of all, I suggest some note cards. Okay, uh, These are just 3 by 5 index cards. On one side, you'll write the definition of the drug. Okay, Maybe you'll write um, what it does and uh, what it's used for. And on the other side, you'll write the brand of the drug. So uh, uh, one side, brand. Other side, generic, as well as its use. Real easy to do. You'll have 200 cards. You'll just work through them. Maybe you can sort them by uh, first letter of the brand name and then 26 letters of the alphabet, 28 uh, days in a four week period. Uh, be real easy to do uh, in, in about one month. Uh, otherwise, you can just repeat them to yourselves until you finally know them. Most of you have a phone that can record audio. I suggest get your iPhone, get your, your Droid, whatever phone you have, and just record yourself saying the brand name of the medication, then the generic of the same medication, and then its indication or use of the medication, and then listen to that. The hearing it over and over again will eventually just get into your head. So repetition is really how you learn the medications. It is kind of overwhelming to think that you're going to have to learn quite that many of them, but just through the techniques of like a flashcard or, uh, like I said, listening to it, whatever is your best way of learning things, apply that and learn them. Some people say there's only about five questions on, an, on the technician exam to learn uh, for the drugs. Other people say it's as many as 20 questions. So you'll want to just know your stuff. And really, what good of a pharmacy technician are you if you don't know your medications? That's kind of the, the, the cornerstone of being a technician is knowing the medications just a little bit. One last thing, though. Some of you are pressed for time. Some of you just don't have the greatest memorization skills. Nonetheless, you have an aptitude um, for healthcare. What I might suggest is top 200 is fair game for the exam. However, you're much more likely to see the top 100 drugs asked, maybe even the top 50 drugs asked. So if you're going to uh, have a limited amount of time, if you're going to really narrow your study, I really recommend starting with the top 50 then maybe move on to the top 100, then maybe move on to the top 200. That way that top 50 is really ingrained um, in your head. Um, so know them by their drug class and their indication. Know them by their brand and their generic name. Just study them and study them often. We'll go through them in the next few lectures and hopefully just the repetition will be able to allow you to get it well. Obvi obviously also it's a video lecture so you can watch them as many times as you need to. So let's get started.